rebuilding the pack, who might be next? Conference realignment is always in the news, so we're back on the big mountain. Hey, it's great to have you back here on the mountain. I am JY, and this is my good friend Steve, and we want to talk about the pack. We now know that the pack has invited Four Mountain West schools, Fresno State, Colorado State, Boise State, and San Diego State. They've all uh, accepted those invitations for football season 2026. So who else might they be looking for? We know they have to get to at least eight in order to be an FBS conference in football season 2026. So they have six right now. Um, We did an episode, Steve, about five months ago on this topic. Um, And believe it or not, four of the schools we mentioned Mm -hmm. there were Boise, San Diego, Fresno, and CSU. You and I both had them on our list, and we did those lists separately. We both made our own list, and those were four schools that we nailed. And guess what? Here they go. Unfortunately, we were spot on. Unfortunately, we were spot on. Yes, that is very accurate. Uh, Steve, you also mentioned at the time Wyoming Air Force uh, from the Mountain West, mm-hmm. and then you added, um, you know, and, and we were, were very clear, if the ACC falls apart, yeah, yeah. potentially the Calford situation. We understand, and we have been saying, Calford is off the table right now. Yeah. They are not coming back to the pack. And again, we said, if the ACC falls yeah. apart and they need a home, maybe the pack. But that is not happening right now at all. It looks like the ACC, even with, with the potential Florida State and Clemson leaving, they've done everything they need to do to stay together for now. Right. So uh, another school you and I both said, and this would be a harder push, but we both had Utah, the Utah Utes, as a potential school that may go to the pack. We know they're in the Big 12. They just got there. Uh, and is, is it likely, unlikely? Yeah, it's probably unlikely. Uh, but they fit the bill. Um, and we'll see. I don't think they're probably going to move. But I know on that episode you mentioned they don't have quite the restrictions around their movement, I think, as most of the other uh, additions have. They didn't at first. And I, okay. tried, I tried to do a little some real research, and there's not a lot available. Okay. We did have a commenter say that since then they did go ahead and sign the grant of rights, but I have not seen anything official. I tried to find something. Okay. So who knows? Their status may be a little more iffy than the other schools that left and went to the Big 12. A little murky. Well, if, if a commenter knows specifics about that and you can point us to uh, you know actual reporting on that, we'd love to see it, but uh, that may still be murky. Um, so let's talk about maybe some schools uh, that we didn't have on our list at the time. Again, we nailed the four Mountain uh, West schools that, that have gotten invites. We didn't look east. We were really focused on you know the Pacific and the mountain time zones and what are they going to be doing in, in that general area. Uh, but we all know right now there's a lot of smoke coming out of Tulane. Um, you know, it, 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 we, we see reports that Tulane is interested. Uh, they may have hired somebody. There may be some talks and all that kind of stuff. I think from the PAC side of things, you know, now that they know the rebuild is on, like it's, ha- it's now happening. Um, you know, they've got six schools. They have some time to try and, and figure out the next two, three, four, whatever that may be. Um, and it probably g- gives them time to look east. And what does a, a partner that's, you know, in the central time zone or whatnot look like to be in the pack? What are the costs of that? What are the, the, the benefits and, and, and whatnot? Um, so, but I know Tulane's kind of near the top of, of everybody's list right now. And Tulane, again, the smoke coming out that they maybe are interested as well. So anything there with Tulane, Steve, that you want to uh, mention? Well, I, to me, um, and you didn't mention this school, but Memphis yeah. and Tulane to yes. me are, along with South Florida, which we're not obviously going to talk about with the pack, but yeah. to me, those are candidates I think that are right for the ACC. Yeah. I think they would rather be in the ACC and... To, to me, those schools are going to wait and see what happens with the ACC and if they get an invite. Um, now, I could see, if they didn't get an invite, maybe a Tulane partnering with a, that I won't name right now, a Texas school that's not too far away okay. and maybe being partners um, that could go to the pack together. Okay. Yeah, and, and Memphis was who I was going to bring up next. So I, I agree with you, I think, um, the Memphis Tulane uh, discussion 
is kind of, I think this, the schools need to make a decision. Do they want to move to a pack? Do they want to go that far west? Or do they want to wait on an ACC type of situation if that blows up a little bit or if they look to add some people there? Um, but they are ripe for the picking, absolutely. You know, whether it's the pack or the ACC or the Big 12, for that matter. Um, uh, Tulane and Memphis are, are kind of ripe for the picking to move up, if you will, up into the, the P4, as we call them now. I think, you know, you, you talk about the P2, but right now we do have a P4. Um, they're not equal, but th that's what they are. So, you know, Tulane and Memphis look at the pack that is going to be a group of six conference. Um, is that something they want to do if their aspiration is to be in a power conference, as people call them now? I don't know. So I'm a little hesitant on that, but there's time. We can, we can see what happens with, with all of that. Two more that I've kind of seen coming out of uh, Texas. You mentioned Texas. Uh, UTSA and possibly Rice being uh, two schools in Texas. You know, we talked about the Mountain West trying to get into Texas. Um, every conference probably wants to be in Texas uh, if they can be. Uh, so, they're, you know, maybe looking at UTSA and Rice here from, from the Pac-12 to try and get into Texas again. Do they want two? Do they only want one? We'll see. Clearly, if you're going to go east, you got to think you need a partner. I mean, there's going to have to be, I would think, at least two or three schools kind of in that eastern side. Well, it's not east, but central, I should call it, uh, side of things. So I think it'd be real hard for just a Tulane only to go without another partner. And I'm sure that's going to be some of the talk. Okay, Tulane's willing. Who's the partner that, to go with them with the two other partners to go with them? Um the other two that I'm going to mention here real quick, Steve, and then I'll throw it to you, um, are two schools still in the Mountain West. So UNLV. A lot of people, well, why were they left out? And why were they this? And what are they going to do? And yada, yada, yada. Um, we haven't seen a whole lot come out of UNLV, but I will say there has been some uh, reporting that they just don't have the money to do that. They're not actually even interested in doing that. Doing that meaning going to the, to the Pac-12 um, so, you know, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd be hesitant. Clearly right now, I mean, if the PAC wanted them, they would have offered, and hell, maybe they did offer, and they didn't accept the offer. We have no idea. Um, but at least for right now, it didn't happen. So whether that's they didn't get an offer or UNLV didn't accept that offer, uh, it didn't happen. I don't see that changing in the near future. Uh, we'll see what happens there. And Air Force, to me, I don't know why they'd want to change. Uh, if anything, they're going to change probably to go to the American with their other two um, uh, academy schools, but they get those games anyway. So you don't have to be in the same conference to play Navy and Army. You're going to play Ar Ar Army and Navy anyway. So I don't know if the conference thing really matters that much. Um, but those are schools I wanted to throw out, Steve. Any any others either that you want comments on those or others you want to uh, bring up? So for me, if, if I'm the pack and I'm trying to expand, trying to expand my market and get back to uh, like being an equal with the, either the big 12 or the ACC. Mm -hmm. I want to get in Texas right yep. away. And so two schools uh, you mentioned, I think UTSA. Yeah. I think North Texas is also one there. Could be. Um, and uh, did we mention Texas state? We did not. Okay. So that's, we a, mentioned Texas state on our mountain West okay. episode, but not on our pack episode. I, you know, I, I really think I, for, for the pack, I, I, you know, we said the same thing with the Mountain West. I think yeah. the Mountain West needs to get into Texas market, and I think the PAC does as well. Um, we saw years ago, a decade or more ago, where the PAC tried to bring in University of Texas, you mm -hmm. know, when they were still a big boy, mm -hmm. um, and wasn't able to pull that off. I think they were looking to pull like four teams out of the state of Texas over. So you, I think you got to try and get in those markets. So for me, UTSA, North Texas, Texas State, and I think you mentioned rice, I believe. Um, yes. And so to me, a rice, what I've heard uh, other reporting say is that, a, that rice and Tulane might be good partners um, where they're, they're uh, similar minded schools. Um, you know, they would like to kind of play each other and all that stuff. So yeah. uh, that's a combination as well. I'm going to guess, though, I, I really think that the pack, um, they got who they want for now. Sure. Uh I think they're going to kind of wait until January or February and see what happens with the ACC. Yeah. Both of us think that it's likely that the ACC will survive. Right. But you never know. Uh, you get into January, February, if the if the media contract is not renewed, which some experts think that that may not happen. You mm -hmm. just never know. So I think they'll leave that possibility open to maybe get a Stanford and Cal back. Yeah. I just don't see it. It's really likely. Yeah. Um, 
I'm hoping they don't go dip either, either they don't dip into the Mountain West at all anymore, or if they want more Mountain West, go in and take just about all of them. You yeah. know, um, which is what we kind of thought what would happen more of a merger type thing. Right. Um, but I like your uh, UNLV makes a ton of sense. We'll see what happens with there. I agree. Air Force, we've brought up the the possibility of the AAC going there with the other. Uh, I have seen that there is some media value to those service academies because they have such a national audience. Yes. So maybe the PAC wants them. Um, and I still think Wyoming is a, is a candidate. I know you don't want to see your beloved Wyoming leave your <laughs> beloved Mountain West. But let, but if they wanted to dip back into the well and, and take two to four more Mountain West schools, I think Wyoming would have to be in that conversation. I get it. They don't have the big media market. Um, but the history, the tradition, the entertainment of the games, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I think they would have to be in the conversation as well. So for me, though, the pack, I think they try and get into Texas, see what happens with the ACC, see yep. if they can pull off a, a miracle and get, this, you know, Calford back. Um, and I just, I really wonder what their further intentions are on the Mountain West. Yeah, yeah, and we I don't think anybody knows that yeah. because certainly nobody knew what was going to happen, uh, what was it, about a week ago. So, um, yeah, so we just want to do an update. We don't really have any new news, just kind of updating what we did about five months ago. Like I said, we didn't look further east, so we weren't talking the two lanes and the, and the UTSAs and the Memphises and all that kind of stuff. The one's really getting a lot of the headlines right now. Uh, that wasn't on it. I'll make sure I link that here as well if you want to go back and check out that. Uh, it was, we did it for fun back then. This is maybe a little more serious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it is now happening. So, hey, anyway, with that, we do pick episodes every Wednesday here for college football. I pick all the Mountain West and the Bees and the Cougs games. Steve does all the Big Ten games. We'd love to have you. We do live episodes there and love having our commenters on. Uh, we have a good time with that. So, hey, with that, make sure you give this one a like and subscribe if you like our content. We'll see you guys next time on the Big Mountain.